Hi everybody, it's Sam at Makes Up Craft. Thank you for watching. So I've got some Arteza products to share with you this week. So they very kindly asked me to select some product from the website. So I had a little look and I'm going to show you one by one the products that I've chosen. So first of all, I have these mica powders. So you get 60 vibrant colours. Now there is lots that you can do with the mica powder. If you're wondering what it is, think, just think of eyeshadow and that lovely shimmery finish that it has that's mica powder you also will see it in any of your kind of well some of your shimmer sprays they will have mica in them i've got them in like pixie dusts lots there they are in a lot of craft products but here we have the mini pots so like i said 60 colors here I'm going to do separate videos on all of these products over the coming weeks. I've got lots of time to be able to share all these with you and to create some really nice um, effects using them. But I'll just quickly show you on a piece of scrap card. So I'll just use this here. Um, just a very quick, easy way that you can use them. I mean, look how lovely that is. And these are all these little 0.18 ounce or five gram pots, but they will go a long, long way. So I'm just going to take the lid off of this one here. You've got this little dinky spoon. I'm just going to just take, I'm not even going to really take anything out, I'm just going to dip the spoon in there just so there's a little bit on top. I just pop it on the cardstock there and if I just rub it on, so this is a lavender purple, it's looking a lot more, there we go, that's the kind of cut, it's, it has got a bit of a darker colour to it there, but there is a beautiful shimmer the sheen I don't know how well it's picking it up it's one of these things you really notice in person but you can use these in a like I said a huge variety of projects so I'm going to go into more detail with that I'm not going to go into you know um, all of that now but I just wanted to show you kind of things to look out for on my channel if this is something that interests you you know then tune in later on so you can see me using these I'm looking forward to trying them out, making some nice backgrounds for cards. And um, I've got some resin art that I'm doing and I'd like to see how these are gonna react and work with that. So yeah, it's really nice that these have come. I just can't believe all of the colors you've got there. Spring green, let's have a look at some of like the metallics. This one here is yellow gold. Um, in fact, that one there says on it, oh no, they all say the same. So that's a dusk purple. Where's the other, there's this one here, Aztec gold. Um, this one's champagne, pearl white, so imagine that might look nice to use with like anything kind of underwater, see how it's going to work with like bubble effects and stuff like that. Cotton white, that'd be another good one for like highlights, sage glow, there's just so many, I love all the names and um, you know you can see them all on the top of the lid there as well but you can just about see the colours peeking through. I think I'm going to keep them in this box for the time being because they obviously fit perfectly but maybe a storage, DIY storage box to uh, you know pop these in could be something for a future project as well but that is the Arteza 60 Vibrant Colours and that's your mica powder. Okay, then I've got this. This is the 12 by 12 feet transfer tape and this is perfect for if you're using your digital cutting machines. But you can use it on other things. You may have cut your own images by hand using um, vinyl sheets and things like that. But basically, say I have just done a really nice design on, you know, to go on a t-shirt, you would take off the release paper on the back here and you will have this clear sticky top which I imagine has got the grids, yeah, so the grid is onto that. You would then stick this, it's like, it's it's a low tack, but it's strong enough to lift off the vinyl or whatever it is that you've cut. So you would peel this off, stick it over your image on your cutting mat, rub it all down, make sure your air bubbles are out, and then peel it off and your image will be on this and then you can transfer it onto your t-shirts onto the mugs onto a shadow box because i've done that over christmas time when i've done a christmas one but my transfer sheets are small they're about three by nine so i had to use a few together so that's why i um, picked up this one because i've got um some really nice projects that i want to share and this is going to come in really handy so i thought i would get my hands on this one so yeah 12 inches by 12 feet so you've got a lot there and it's one inch grids as well so that was the transfer tape and then i picked up these here so these are expert cold press watercolor paper so you get 30 sheets a5 
300 GSM. But the reason I liked this one is because all of the pages are perforated so I can take them out. So again, I can, you know, do some nice stamped images and colour them in or just do some nice like washes and backgrounds for, for my card making um, but also you can keep them in here as well but I've got three so I have another one which I shared before which I've been using so um, yeah they always do I mean the value for money is good because you get three so I mean they're nice if you want to do gifts if you've got a crafty friend you like to put things together maybe as a nice Christmas gift or a birthday present you know you can keep one for yourself give one to a friend and you've got a spare there for yourself as well so um yeah I just thought I'd try these ones because these are the expert one and it, it is it's, it's really really nice and you have that slightly smoother side so if you do want to try and get more of a hot press kind of finish and stamp on the reverse side because that's smoother but um these ones yeah they've got a nice grain so I should get some really nice watercolor results with those then I picked up this. This is your foam mounting tape. So this is 36 yards, which is about 32 meters. So you get a real nice, um, you know, amount on here. So it's just like your foam tapes. That's exactly, I mean, I've got one here. This is it here. Obviously, you can see the ones I buy are much, much smaller. So I picked this one up because I thought they've got a picture of it, you know, putting it onto the back of a photo frame. So you can pop it on the wall. But I'm going to use this with my shaker cards. And just on my card making when I like to add dimension. So if I bring it out here, you can see just how much you, you get in this box. So I haven't tried it yet. Like I said, I will be featuring this. I won't do a separate video just on this. You'll see this feature in just my normal, you know, everyday kind of tutorials. So I can get an idea of just how it is and, and how long it's going to last. So, um, yeah, it was just, I saw it on there. It's not something that they've had for a long, long time because when I've, you know, put in orders before with Arteza, I never saw it on there. So I know it's a, a relatively new product from them. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go, seeing how long it lasts me and, you know, just how strong that one is. So again, just pop all that one back away in the box. Then I was also interested to try this one. So this is a 100% cotton mold made cold press acid free glue bound watercolor paper <laughs> bit of a mouthful but again I've got quite a few nice watercolor pads I've got some you know premium brands I've got some really inexpensive brands so when I saw that they had this one I thought I'd like to give it a go as well and you know I could notice a difference straight away when I when I opened it up and it does have a, a feel to it it's really nice and um, me and my dad are doing some colouring together and things like that and obviously with everything that's going on at the moment I've got more time to be able to do these things so I will will share um, over time things that I do make with these but for my videos that I share with you I will probably be using this with my card making and um, my watercolours and, and so on so yeah I just thought oh this looks really nice let's try it so we will see and then lastly it's a bit of a strange one but I saw it on then I just I love these kind of things. Now I have a, a just a cheapy one that I picked up from oh gosh it was just one of these bargain shops years ago and it's plastic with the yellow um, ones but it's it's just thinner it's on my wall behind me and I saw this one and I thought oh this looks really nice and it's wooden and it's got this nice fabric on the inside so this is soft blue felt it's a wooden frame and you just can make your own you know sentences or whatever you want on there you could put happy birthday for whoever's birthday it is in the house they also do it with black and um you can see it's a nice you know box here so again it's a lovely gift but i'm having this in my craft room so i'm going to open it up because again i don't think i will need to do a separate video on this i'll do it now because once you see it you know that is it i'm going to take this all out it's all packaged really nicely this card is really good for you know to keep don't get rid of that because it's great for using in on, on your 3d projects so we've got a little easel there which is also good to pop your cards on to photograph so that's nice you've got a lovely little drawstring bag and then you've got all of your letters so let's just get rid of that box and this is what we have so you've got all of your alphabet in the white there and with these i imagine you just twist them because they're similar to the ones I've had before. Yeah, you've got little pips there. You can easily just cut those away. So if that would bug you, because I do on my yellow one, I did, yeah, there we go. So you can just remove the little pips. So there's those, so you've got all of them. This is the one that I liked here. You've got this beautiful script. Can you see? So you've got your days of the weeks, days of the week, and then you've got your months. 
and I don't know what that is there, it's like a random big blob of plastic there which is weird, it's obviously gone on the machine, it might have been the end of it or something but it's not affected the um, the words at all, but just a really lovely font there and then you have, so that was your alphabet yeah that was your just some nice words then you've got alphabet again in a different font I mean they've given you a lot here so that is so you get two lots you've got plenty but you've also got all these great emojis look at all these and you've got your thumbs up the heart you've got all your numbers but you've got so many you know of them I mean look how many how many zeros there are there and then you've got them all again on this one so you've got doubles so I've got all of that I'm just going to check I have because you get a hell of a lot in this let me just see if it says anywhere on the box how much you should have so one letter board which I've got 176 white letters 125 white and silver silver letters 100 white letters two inches 164 symbols 33 cursive words one canvas bag one wooden stand and one pair of scissors so no it does sound about right you do get a lot in here so that's those then i've got where are the scissors i did see the scissors when i opened it before so maybe i've just missed them these are silver again if i put it against that you can see oh hang on i'll take it out of the plastic so there's the silver and they're nice and soft, they're finished well. You know, there's no sharp edges on them. The hot, that's all really, really soft, really smooth. It's not any rough edges or nothing. So you, you know it has been, like I said, compared to the other one I've got, there, there's a big difference. Um, another thing these would be nice for is if you do any craft fairs, you might want to keep, use this as your sign. You might have your maybe your business name on there, or maybe how much your cards are, if they're for a charity. So it's just another nice way. And then these here... These are huge, so these are letters and numbers, but look how big they are. Really, really good. And again, you've got the music notes, you've got the heart, you've got the, is that, no, it's not a dollar sign. You've got and, you've got all sorts here. So I'm gonna twist these all off and pop them all into this bag. I think the scissors are, oh, the scissors are in here. So these are, they're blunt end scissors, so obviously for safety reasons. And um, yeah, you can just twist it off or you can snip it and that way you know you definitely don't get any of the pip and then how they attach really nicely made oh it's got a nice smell to it as well it's it's proper wood it's not like um you know it's not plastic you can hang this straight onto your wall if you want to you've got your attachments there and you've got your little hook and you've got your our taser on the back there it's a, it's a real solid nice piece so it would make a lovely gift and then these just sit in the lines like so I think that's upside down that one would be that way because it's smaller at the top like so so I think I'm going to have mixed up craft on mine I will post a picture up on my um, Facebook page so you can see what it looks like and then I'm actually going to pop mine on the wall and then I'm going to keep this stand for taking photos of my cards that's gonna be perfect that's really cute I've seen people do that so now I've got one I can I mean I've I've got my light box and all that kind of stuff but I think that'll look quite nice as well so yeah there you have it so actually that'll be really quick I can just literally cut through all of those that won't take no time at all and you can see just how they look let's just cut let's just cut this off and just do let's do sun we all need some sun right now so there we go it just it's really easy to use and i've got the little the m there as well so obviously because they're very very big but you can get a lot in with the smaller ones so yeah i'm gonna have a play around with that but i really like it and um again as always thank you very much to our taser for sending me this it is very very kind of them so you'll see all the product um in future tutorials this i will post a picture of it up on my wall and um, yeah, I think I put mixed up craft in it, but it's nice to just change it, you know, and like I said, if you want to keep it in your kitchen, you know, maybe when family come to visit, you might have, you know, welcome or welcome home or welcome, to, you know, that person who's visiting. Um, you could have it in the guest room, you know, there's loads of fun ways. I know um, lots of people, you know, 
enjoy these um, personalised home decor pieces. So yeah, I'm going to pop all that back in the box. Okay, so that's everything. I can't wait to start experimenting with the mica powders and um, I'm going to get all this sorted out now. But um, all the links to our taser will be shared below. There will be a discount code as well that you can use and uh, look out for the videos featuring this product. So thanks again and I'll see you all soon. Bye!